Hi everybody, Oko here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Metroid Prime. And happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for being here with me and joining, joining me for this. So here we are, the impact crater, right off the bat. We have red phase on, which is different than blue phase on. Limited data of unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage direct contact from direct contract. It's 86% 80, greater than Feijan. Unshielded bioforms below index level P will suffer fatal fatality with... There's a... Uh, yeah, there's some other creatures over here. That's new. Lum Lumagek, Phazon charged reptiles. Natives of Talon 4, the Lumageks, travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radiate Phazon energy, making these swarms a threat. Yeah, well, I'll kill those. I suppose the quickest, easiest way to get over here is just to jump over all of this. Yep. And here we have another. Here we have a large room with red phase on. Yeah, and there is a lot of, uh, yeah, Metroids here. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, I got a little stuck here. Um. Ugh. All right, what do we got here? So this one is a white one, right? And then I thought that I had seen a blue one. Yeah, it might be gone. Yeah, those are those fission mess. Whoops, those are those fission mess Metroids, I think. Yeah, they split. Come on, what? Get off me. God, these, these are, these definitely take their time to kill. Yeah, it just takes time. You got to switch between the different, uh, the different guns. Yeah, everything here is so weird. It's so biological. Like these look like teeth or bones or something like that. Ugh, gross. When you're walking along the ground too, you can hear a squishy sound. Hear that? Squishy, squishy, yuck. Yeah, it's like across the border from. Technological, machinery. Yeah, I keep missing this jump. There we go, landed. Then over here. There. Oh, I that one. Didn't get to that one yet. Here we are. Now I can go with the white. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh, it was a terrible jump because I got distracted. Ah! Darn it, those things are just probably going to keep respawning. Mm, these are getting to be difficult jumps. Did I make it? Yes. Can I go over here now? Okay. Die. What? How did it survive the power bomb? You're back up here. I don't know if I can make that jump though. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can. Ah! Die! Oh my gosh. This is weird. There's like this crystal here. There's fish in here? What? Why is there fish in this? What are those fish? No, they're like weird celled amoebas. Weird. Can I scan them? Yeah, let's see if we can scan them. 
No? Oh, too bad. Ah! <clears throat> My last power bomb. Oh, let's go in here. And here we have... Missiles fully replenished. Not gonna make, not gonna, not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have to figure that out on my own. So, head over this way. Oh boy. All right, so one more power bomb just to get rid of all those uh, Metroids and let's, uh, See if we can just make a sprint here to the end. I think we're going to make it. Here's the last door. Last door we got to get then. One last room. Uh, let's see. We can get through here. Uh, yeah. Use the bombs to kind of move around. Uh, well, we fell. We fell into the orange phase on. Yeah, the, the, the orange phase on is, uh, I don't think we can scan that, but, uh, it's different than the blue phase on. Yeah, and here we have the last, whoop, here we have the last door. What do we have inside? Oh, it looks, that looks scary. It's a giant face. Wow. We have a really big room here. And everything has, everything has come to this. It has led us to... This, my friends, is... Well, weren't fast enough there. Well, let's, he's going away already. Let's go in pursuit. Jump down here, and here we have Metroid Prime. Highly evolved, Phazon producing life form. The, ab the aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. All right, so uh, like the, um, so first of all, uh, try to avoid any of the beams. And, whoops. They, the, the, the color. Oh, what's going on here? Here we are. The color determines what he's vulnerable to. Jump over that energy beam. He has many different, uh, he has many different, uh, phases. Maybe I'll try. There we are, yeah. Try some super missiles. Wasn't, the power shots weren't working very well. Okay, so now he's purple. Yeah, I got him with a few beams. Let's see if we can inflict a little damage here with the Wave Buster. There we are. I didn't like that, so... That leads us to his second form. He starts trying to do some different things. He has a tractor beam sort of uh, attack, which is pretty bad. So he's still in the purple. When he, when, when he rears up like that, it means he's going to charge. Yep, so go into the trench. Oh, he is, uh... Now these balls, you can get refills from these. Yep, 
Let's see some power. Let's get some miss super missiles in. Ay, ay, ay. We should have uh, tried to get a little further away there. Okay, now he's on ice. Doesn't seem to be working very well, though. Trying to avoid those green projectiles. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you guys. I got I got a bit of a secret to tell you guys. I've actually never done this battle. When I was young and played this game, I was never I was never able to get past Ridley. So this is actually my first time doing it. But I've seen other people do it. I've seen other people do this in um, let's play other let's plays and stuff. Not having a lot of uh, luck with this. Uh, I mean, it's taking off a little bit. What's he changing to now? Nope. Now he's going to the next phase. All right, we're doing good. He has about four phases here, so this should be the third one. So what's he got next up his sleeve? Now he, oh, he's pulling us in. Oh. Here we are, super missile. Right, so super missile to the face. Oh, I didn't get down in time. He charged me. He went back to the ice. Oh, now we're on the power shot. I mean the uh, plasma beam. Yeah, don't use the flame spreader. It's not worth it, I've been told. Just we're gonna do these power shots here. It seems to be working well so far. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Oh well, we're doing okay. We're doing okay here. Oh, I was trying to do Wave Buster. Didn't work. There we go. I think I'm doing damage to him. There we go. On to the last stage. Oh, the music is good. New music for the final boss. Right on. And I love the setting they put us in here. So, what color are you? Regular. No, that... Oh, he's, he's moves changing quickly. Here we are, take a power shot to the face. Trying to get a, a super missile off. There we are. Got one. One more. Oh. Ooh! Wasn't fast enough. Oh well. You are purple. Get him! He hates this. There we are. Now, what? Where are we? I can't see him. What? Ice? I wanted plasma. That's right.
Trying to hit him a charge shot. So there we go. There we go. And he descends down into the pits. And let's follow him. Let's look around this room a little bit. Wow, we've come a long way. I wonder if there's a... Oh, there is a map. Yeah, there's our four little levels we've gone down. One, two, three. Wow, what's, what's to come? Let's see. There is nothing but darkness in the abyss. Samus enters and finds. The real threat. And the cause of all the Phazon. Metroid Prime. The real Metroid Prime, I guess. The core essence of Metroid Prime. Scan indicates that the Phazon energy from form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon infused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's Phazon weapon system. The entity can also spawn Metroids to assist it in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. Alright, so, yeah, now your weapons work, so spend a lot of time just jumping over um, the, uh, the, the shots that he sends into the ground. Eventually, he will sort of create these pools of Phazon like this. Little pose of fail, and then he disappears, and you have to change your visor. Whoops. Whoops. You gotta change your visor to try and find him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's above us. I think I lost the pool here. Oh, no, we're not in it. There we are. There we go. You gotta go stand in the, the, the puddle. Oh, boy. There we are. He's made another puddle. Head into it. See if you can find him. Oh, shoot. Not that. There we go. He was in the thermal visor. So stand in there and just shoot him until it... it yeah, shoot him until it just put, pitters out. The, the carapace of the uh, his dead body is here, too. You can stand on that for, for some protection. Where is he? He's, uh... Darn it! I, I'm getting my... My things mixed up again. There he is. Okay, move the visor around. There we are, shooting them. We're not doing too bad. <laughs> We've gotten him down about halfway. He just moves around. I just killed a bunch of Metroids there. Here, I'll see if I can pick up a little life here. They dropped some. He's lunging at us. Just keep your distance. Look for those pools. Now, uh, having trouble getting the camera to move around. Oh, it the worst, literally the worst possible time this could be happening. There he is. There he is. He was in the x-ray mode. Take that. Take that, Metroid. Ah! Jump. I want these items. Where is he? Where is it? Oh, he got me. I wasn't fast enough. I should maybe be trying to keep an eye on him a little bit better. Yeah, he toggles between the different phase, the different visors. There he is. He hasn't dropped any phase on, though. I thought I jumped over that, but no, apparently not. There we are. Ah, I'm not jumping. Not, it doesn't look like I'm jumping quick enough. 
Boy. There he is. There we go. There we go. Got him. Another little bit. I had to use some of the hyper mode to uh, uh, kill those Metroids. Yikes. Yeah, it's a pretty cool design. Very creepy. Just gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Waiting for those little pools of face on. Come on, Metroid Prime. You can do it. Where's those little... Where's that phase on? Show it. Show me the phase on. There we go. There's a good batch. Yeah, every time he uh, drops uh, some Metroids, I try and uh, drop a, a super bomb. That seems to work pretty good on them. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Just jump over those, jump over those shocking, those shock waves if you can. I seem to be getting hit, I seem to be getting hit by those a lot. There we are, missed that one. Yikes. Yeah, we're doing good. We're getting him. His hit points are getting low. Definitely. He's... We're doing good. Jump over those shock waves. There we go. This could be it, folks. Where is he? There we go. And we did it! Metroid Prime defeated! There we go. Just gotta keep on getting rid of those Metroids and keep on heading, jumping over those shockwaves and just get to the pools of uh, Phazon when he drops them and just utilize it. And now here's something... He has yet another form here. And he's taken the Phazon suit. For some reason. Crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. And the artifact temple site is destroyed and the way to the in the impact crater is gone. And there we have it, folks. Metroid Prime. First time I've finished the game uh, with the Wii U. Uh, no, no, pardon me, with the Wii version. 
Uh, but uh, probably the third, third or fourth time overall that I finished the game. And uh, I feel all. Actually, technically, this was the first time I've ever finished the game because, like I said previously, I uh, always used to get to Meta Ridley, and I was just young when I played this game, and I was just too chicken to actually be able to get through that, and it was just found that uh, battle to be a little challenging for me. But um, yeah, this here I am, a lot older now and wiser, and I was able to get through it, and there you have it—a great. What an amazing game. Really, honestly, before this game came out, I never played any first-person uh, sort of shooter games in my life. I'd always gone out of my way to avoid them because, as people who know me know, is that for gaming, I'm not really big on shooters. If I don't like really violent games or shooters, I just, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I just don't like really violent stuff. It's hard for me to get into that. But, uh, you know, here uh, Metroid Prime came along and it took the franchise in sort of a different direction. And I trusted Nintendo enough to try this out when back in the day when it came out on my GameCube and I was blown away then about how immersive the world is and, and just how fun it was to create, to explore in these different worlds that they had made for us. And it's amazing now, it's been like 20 years since I played this game, I cannot believe how well this game stands up. This game for me is a 10 out of 10, really. Uh, it, the, the the minor um, irritations I have with it are very minor. I you know I had a little trouble getting the the minus and the plus sign on the Wii remote. I kept getting those two mixed up between the visor selections and the weapon selections. But I don't know if other people have that problem. I also had some trouble with the half piping. That was a bit of a challenge. And of course we had that problem with the grapple hook. I had seemed to have a lot of trouble with the grapple hook and uh, particularly when uh, I needed to use it consecutively one you know for one grapple point to the next that never seemed to really work for me and I never remember having that problem when I played it on the GameCube so I don't know if that was just something I wasn't doing right or not we got pretty much all mo um, most of the power-ups I mean I think there was at least three Pardon me, there was at least three missile expansions in the Fendrana Drifts I know we weren't able to get. Uh, one was the grapple, that part where Thardis was, where you were supposed to grapple hook over it to get one. There was one there, and then there was uh, the giant uh, icicle that I couldn't get to fall to break the ice in that ice cave, that frozen cave. There was that one, and then I think there was still one hiding somewhere in the uh, research facility behind one of those screens or something. I, I'm not sure how to get that. I, maybe I was supposed to smash some screens with make some super missiles or something? I, I'm not sure. But that still leaves uh, three missile expansions unaccounted for, according to my math, because I think we ended there with, what was it? Was 120? Or pardon me, 220 missiles? There's a little uh, end, an end part here, after credits shot. Such an epic game. Just, just great. So much fun. And with that, I say Happy Halloween to everybody. Yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying Halloween. I'm having a few videos on the channel uh, today, so there's going to be one more this evening. Um, yeah, um, if, for those of you who are wondering, uh, I would be interested in doing Metroid Prime 2 eventually, but uh, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. I, uh, most likely, that might be a good project to do for next October. I have a lot of other games... Uh, that I'm much more interested in doing long before Metroid Prime 2. So, yeah, don't expect it anytime soon. But uh, maybe it'll be a good little Halloween special for next year as well. If people like this one. And that's about it. Yeah, Metroid Prime. I, I, a great game from my past. And a great game. I'm glad I got, I glad I got an opportunity to play through it again. I don't know, if, I, I, I don't know if, I'm, if I'm ever going to revisit this game. That's one of the things I've said many times is part of the reason I'm playing these games on this channel so I can kind of put them aside and I might not necessarily have to come back to them. But we do have Metroid Prime 4 coming up as well. And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to sort of um, get back into this a little bit and refresh my mind. I'm glad I did. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all had a good time. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'm Oko, and we'll see you on the next Let's Play on the Oko's Ego channel. Bye for now, everybody. Happy Halloween.